Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you all like our creative countdown this morning. I know many of you are very slow at this time of morning. I could not count our five, four, three, two, one. Good morning to each and every one of you all. As you all would have seen, Coastar already enjoying and surrounding herself with all the nature and the beauty of down here. It is a stunning, stunning day in Barbados. This morning, absolutely perfect. Hardly any clouds in the sky. We have a pink hue out here. It's looking beautiful this morning. Uh, any of you that are not familiar where we are, we're at Paradise Beach. This is Paradise Beach here. Um, we're by the Kirins, and this is just to the south of Bats Rock. Bats Rock is where you can park. We'll talk more about that later on. British Strong Harbour this morning. Busy, busy, busy. There are going to be five ships in. Um, absolutely great for the island. We also have one that's further on the horizon that's about to make its way in. Large vessels, smaller vessels like Sea Cloud and those kind of ships as well. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful day. So good morning to each and every one of you all. Um, I know you were seeing some lovely scenery before, but we can look in this direction now and capture these stunning little bits of pink and stuff that are remaining this morning when we first came down. They were absolutely beautiful. Any of you that have not been here before, I most definitely recommend coming to here. The piece of serenity we experienced in the first five to seven minutes, you would know how beautiful it is. All right, so we're gonna come back here right now and we're gonna say our serenity prayer. Um, those who like to join us, please do remember it's a prayer for peace, direction, guidance, and for calmness, because this calms you if you understand it, you understand what you're responsible for. Things that you are responsible for are quite easy. You simply just love people, be kind to people, and be caring, and just be positive people in life. That's what you have control over. Everything else you need to pass that on to God or to whoever you're following. Okay, so we're going to say our serenity prayer now. Please join us. All others will be back to you in a few moments' time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. We took that nice and super slow this morning, as you will see Jeanette's out here picking up her heart rocks and doing all kind of stuff, enjoying the beauty that surrounds us. This is what we do every morning. I hope you all will also have the opportunity to do it while you're here. And if you're at home, just go to a park, look out your window somewhere, escape for a few minutes, find a piece of serenity. Remember, the beauty surrounds you. It's when you stop looking is when it disappears. So open your eyes, find what's around you that's beautiful and give thanks and be grateful for what we have. All right, this morning we're starting, as I mentioned before, we're by the Kirins. These are built, I cannot remember the name of the person. I know there's some family on here that do know him. Uh, please just if you could put up the information um, for the artist that's constructed most of these here. Um, these have been, in many places in the world, these have actually been dismantled because they're deemed as being unsafe for pets and small children. Well, I would like to tell you that there are some very big children that like to knock these down as well. Some of you that are on here this morning will have had that experience um, as a certain person, we're not going to call any names because no, we honestly believe in, a, in a, anonymity should be extended to those around us. Cheryl, good morning to you. Um, just want to let you know the head cheerleader, who is also our Sulkin cheerleader. Um, just want to mention her name at this time. We're not calling her as in connection to knocking over any of these, but we're calling her name at this time. As I said before, we are going to try and keep it anonymous. Beautiful, beautiful area in the background. You see the abandoned um, Paradise Villas project. Not too sure what's going on with this here. This started many years ago. Many people invested millions of dollars into having condos and villas down here. Um, unfortunately, I went belly up. It has stopped for quite a few years now. 
Um, superstructure still looks good, but a lot of work would obviously have to be done if they continue with it. Um, a fortune has been put into this already, so you can appreciate how much money has been lost in many individuals. We talked about Paradise Bay when we were down here last time that we did it from the hot pot. Um, we did talk about surfers and stuff. Um, this is the right, uh, just to show you that rock that's in the center there, not the one close, that's the one behind. That is usually submerged. If you are surfing down here, please keep an eye out for that because that is there waiting on you. It's looking for your skin. Its appetite is for human flesh. So please be careful of that rock there in the center of the screen. Um, the actual right, the bigger it gets, the further down here it um, breaks. It breaks right off of the shell reef itself on the outside and then works its way right into the inside bit. It's one of the longest rights. I would have to say in Barbados, not only just on the west coast, but in Barbados, when here is pumping, it comes from almost down with Bats Rock, the entire way on the shelf reef and the outer reef, and then works its way into a beautiful sandy bay. So the bigger it gets, the better it stands up. So if you get the opportunity to surf this here, please come on down and have an enjoyable ride here. Or you can even, if it's smaller days, surf the left on the other side of this bay that comes off the actual oil pipe itself. We like to draw the attention, the difference in the coral on this section versus the other sides of the island. This is like a shale coral. You will see how fragile the shelves are on it. I'll bring you around, let you have a look here. If you stand close to the side of this here, it will break for sure. You can see the white bricks there where people have stood on or where someone has dropped a rock or something on that's broken it off. So if you're down here and you're stepping from the coral to the coral, please step far in. Do not step on the side of it because it's extremely fragile, very, very delicate. And obviously we want to preserve as much as we possibly can. This morning we're going to be going in a northerly direction. Um, just before we actually start up our vlogs, of course, we always say we like to start a vlog with the most beautiful thing out. Um, that would be me, of course, and as you can see, I'm bringing my co-star. Does she not look great with me? I mean, honestly, the reflections of my beauty on her is like stunning. Good morning to each and every one of you all. We're going to have an enjoyable walk now. Um, we're going to do our usual thing. We're going to talk all facts. We're not going to tell any fabrication of the truth. Um, we're going to give you all the historic information that's going on between here and where we're stopping now. And then we'll tell you all about the rest of the weekend as we go into the end of this vlog this morning. Just to show you some of the close-ups of these here so you understand how these are constructed and balanced. Extremely strong unless you have a person that's sulking, that leans up on one of these here and knocks it down and everyone else. I'm not calling any names again, but these are actually very, very strong. I like to call it, these are Kirins, as the name for them, correct name. However, they call them the Wave Warriors because these stand here and watch the ocean every day. Um, it's amazing how big swells will come here, run right up in the beach and stuff and don't dislodge them. You will also get a lot of wind currents, you know, also get a lot of very strong, strong, um, well, wave, uh, sorry, swell conditions and also wind conditions that will dislodge these here. Or as I said before, you can have some lazy sulking people that can lean up on them thinking they will stand firm. Good morning to you, water baby. I am only calling your name because I remember... Um, that you were a person who decided you want to stand under these rocks and catch them with your foot. I hope you're fine this morning. And to all of our others that were on that walk that morning with us. You all would know who pushed them down. I don't have to say anymore. I'm going to leave that for the rest of the conversation going on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. This is just one of the hidden treasures you can find on Barbados' shorelines. Whether you're on the south, west, east or north of the island, you will find beauty that cannot be seen any on the, any other coast. That's what makes it so different, and that's what makes Barbados so incredible. Because no matter which coastline you go on, everything changes as you go through. You can see people just looking around this morning, just taking it all in, absorbing the beauty and the absolute serenity and peace. When I'm not talking, because when I'm talking, there's no serenity and there's no peace out here. I was a little bit disturbed last night at CUNY Community. If you all follow that, we're going to be putting up on YouTube later today. It's running through our new software. It takes like four hours to process a video, but it comes up much, much cleaner. Um, we haven't really had any issues with that software as yet. So we've only had it in um, like two days or so. So we had a little delays in getting stuff up to um, our YouTube channel. But if you want to have a look at that later on, you will notice that a lot of people that, um, last night were very disobedient. I had private counselings with them. We actually went through detention sessions before so that they could be well trained and versed on what they were supposed to say and everyone ignored me and I will tell you why I will show you the influence why everybody ignored me it's because of her because every time I said something positive she went and told him I was telling lies and contradicted everything I said and if you look at her you can see she looks as though she would never tell any fibs whatsoever notice I use the word fibs and not lies um, she unfortunately got to them 
in between our detention session and my live vlog and you would have seen a lot of people talk a lot of nonsense I also saw a lot of people on the vlog talking a lot of nonsense as well for example our water baby Simon Simon you don't worry about it I know to deal with you when you're back in Barbados I shall deal with you but I just hope that your boss knows that you were watching Q in the community yesterday within were hours because you're two hours behind us that means at three o'clock yesterday you were watching Q in the community and you were supposedly working so boss man deal with her for me please until I get my chance to deal with her myself beautiful view 20 seconds gotta give you this here as a photo op 20 seconds enjoy this here Absolutely stunning and breathtaking view of the Bridgetown Harbor and Paradise Beach and then just around the corner you'll find Freshwater Bay, Brighton, um, what they call Brandon's Beach which is by the Mighty Griner Highway formerly known as the Spring Garden Highway. We're just below Black Rock here where we're walking right now. Um, beautiful, beautiful area. Absolutely stunning. Saw some other artwork up here on the beach this morning. Um, I know for sure but our co-star captured it. She was taking some photos and stuff for you. Um, as you all know, she's been capturing the beauty of Barbados through her eyes, which is absolutely incredible, and sharing them with us as well as on her own site. And that would be PBC Barbados 8. Um, if you have a look on that, you can also see it on our website as well, or on our Facebook, or I should say our Facebook, our Instagram, and also on our YouTube. It's tagged and everything. If you're looking for great accommodations on the lesser coast, as I said this morning, if you can't ride a horse, you can ride a cow. Um, when, when you can't have the best, you have to settle for the less. So you all know where I'm talking about, of course. You all would have known where it was coming to. So here we go. We're going to take our little view to the world from this artist's impression. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Natural rocks found on this beach. These are all pieces of coral. You see brain coral and all the other sections there as well as this beautiful dead see great bush never ever see sea great bushes looking better than this i did take a picture of the sea great um graveyard up at the crane beach which i took the other day i'll share with you i've been working on tree by tree up there i almost got rid of them though they're all looking similar to this here um but we will show you them later on i'm keeping it as a surprise for our sea great police and all of her posse um that is the imaginary committee that has nothing to do uh with the emc whatsoever they're just making a lot of sport Oh, look, she's gonna go and knock it down. Let's witness this here. Uh, Mr. Artist, please draw to your attention that the co star is about to destroy your building. <laughs> <laughs> Not her. She's probably set on the foundation. She's smart, smart, smart. I would have captured that and shared it on the nation today or on CBC. To all the Q and the community family and the organizers of Q and the young generation that's coming up that's hosting or that are participating and bringing Q and the community to us all kudos to an amazing night i'll have to tell you the only thing is i would like please to draw this everyone knows i speak my mind please light the area better there are a lot of elderly people and i'm a young person i found it difficult walking out along the road itself because of rocks loose rocks all over coral heads all over and absolutely no lighting remember your patrons do not just uh, come and drop themselves by parachute into the venue you have to light up the surrounding areas protect the patrons please all right that is my beef on that there it was a spectacular queue i had an amazing time as you will see from the vlog if you've not seen it already there were some incredible people there all sharing love kindness peace and affection as we do all of them were happy to get in front of the camera and lost do our filming with no objections whatsoever um however please look at the surroundings man light up the place a little bit better it is not safe i can tell you that i am a certified olympically trained safety inspector and i'm telling you it was not safe again things that are not safe we look at things on the inner side here that are called sea great bush they are beautiful when they're trimmed into hedges they are beautiful when the fruit start to bear whether they're green or whether when they start to turn into reds and purples and they turn ripe they're beautiful but remember ripe only means that they look different do not put them in your mouth do not mind anyone out here that says sea grapes are good for you do not mind Google, Bing, and any of the other search engines that say Sea Grape has some healing properties in it. 
I do not tell lies. I tell the truth. And if I tell you they taste terrible and they're not good for you, you would know exactly what I mean. They're terrible and they do not have any good benefits for you. As I said before, write your complaints to Bing and Google and all those and let them know that they do not know what they're talking about because the Beijing warrior has told you the truth. Beautiful ship this morning. Looks like one of the Princess Cruise Lines. Malcolm Hunt, if you're on here, my brother, please enlighten everyone to the five vessels that are in the port this morning. It is going to be a stunning day in Barbados. So all the Barbados ambassadors are going to be in contact with all of our visitors, whether they're cruise passengers, long-stay passengers, part-time Bajans, no matter who they are, or whether you're coming in contact with Bajans, please remember to extend your courtesy as you always do. Remember, this is your opportunity to show everyone why Barbados is known as the best place in the world. So please extend that today, just as you always have done in the past. Just continue with it today and make today extra special. Today, as you all know, is a special day. It's Friday, the beginning of the weekend. Another thing that sort of like really got me upset last night at Q, someone came over to me and said, are you aware that you talk a lot? No, <laughs> I don't talk a lot. So that, first of all, had me extremely angry. And secondly is, I was only like about 10% throttle last night. I had so much in reserve. So to whoever it was that came over and said to me, I glad I can't remember your name. I was shame you right now. So actually, I know it was. It was Simon from the wine tent. It had to be Simon, whether it was her or not, I blame her. So Simon from the wine tent, you should not talk about me that way. I barely talk. I'm a very quiet and peaceful person. And uh, the way you were talking to me last night, you made me feel as though I was a talkative individual that told all lies. No, it was um, somebody else. Too. It was somebody else? Who, who was it? Hold on. I, somebody wants to interject their opinion in here. Brand new person came up to me and said, is he a DJ? Because he doesn't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? You hear the insults that go down? He is he a DJ? He doesn't shut up. Have you ever heard a DJ talk as much as me? That is a pure insult, and I was only doing it at ten percent. And you know, to the person that came and asked if I was a DJ, I remember who you are. I took a Photoshop of you in my brain. I did not take one of the camera, but I do know who you are. Anytime you see you in the future, I shall deal with you accordingly because you made me extremely miserable. Uh, do not mind my co-star. Please do not let her um, encourage you all in nonsense this morning. Last night she said you all are a bundle of wusses. You all are so quiet and frightened to say anything and about how she is getting sick and tired of you all individuals especially she said the cigarette committee I heard her say that and so did me myself and I also witnessed it as well and you all also saw it on the vlog so you will know she what I'm saying is the truth see your expression she's laughing at you all you know she's not smiling at what I said notice no time in the last three seconds sorry you have no idea what's going on here. okay I have no idea what's going on here but they're laughing at you. I know they're laughing at you. So anyhow, don't mind. She said they're laughing at you, which I know she's, they're laughing at her, which would be you, of course. Um, but as you all would know already, she does a lot of nonsense to contradict everything I say. But you all have it on video footage, just like I have all those secret, highly classified documents from the cigarette. Please tell me how much she loves me and how much she misses me. You imagine I posted a photo the other day uh, of the co-star alone. And the first thing she can say is, and where is the star? Where is that handsome Bajan warrior? I have it all documented in my fireproof safe. So if you don't believe me, when you come to Barbados, I ask you to break it out and I will show you it for sure. Beautiful bat rock. This is what you gotta call gorgeous bat rock bay itself, looking down to prospect. We did prospect the other day. Hopefully Ty will come play with us this morning and we can work our way along that cliff and show you what the little coves are like up in there and the coral formations. That's our direction we're going in now. If we are going to take a little long this morning, it's not a problem because I don't have to speak again until Monday because tomorrow we're going to have the annoying person that is known as Miss Kier that all of a sudden batters everyone with her insults uh, and insults everyone and, de and degrades them and the only thing that they do is clap and applaud and say oh she's so wonderful so I don't know how you managed to get that done Nicole but tomorrow it's going to be your turn to insult everyone I know you will talk non-stop I know you will hog the camera hold on top of hogging the camera though you haven't seen me for a little while so let me see, I gotta put my timer on. I had a countdown timer for every five minutes to show you all me because I don't want people to leave the screen. I know a lot of you all may leave and go off because you don't see me. So every five minutes, just stay on. Every five minutes I'll show you myself. So don't worry about it. And you keep your eyes wide open. If you're shutting your eyes when we're viewing the other stuff because it really is not interesting you, I would say open your eyes. When you're here, open your eyes. You know it's me. So please open your eyes and have a look. Gorgeous, gorgeous cruise ships coming into Barbados. That will probably have on about 3,400 passengers, somewhere that I would estimate in that kind of range. 
is one of the bigger ones. Lots of big ships in this morning. I see PO seems to have their bigger one in as well. It's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful day in Iraq for thousands of people. So I saw someone say just now, I'm on the rock or on the island. I forget words quickly because as I told you all, I try to retain all the critical information as in dates and facts and figures and history. So I don't have much room for names of people and sometimes names of locations, except for the ones I'm vlogging at, of course. Um, but I saw someone say they were on the rock just now. Um, anyone that's in Barbados, please send me I am today. We have a treat for you tomorrow. Historic stroll done by Nicole, who will be lying most of the time. Um, so you can get out your dictionaries and check as well, your encyclopedias, and also get out your bang on Google and double check what she's telling you, because she always tells lies, but she's such a sweet person, and butter would not melt in her mouth. Everybody believes her. I don't know why you all can be so gullible and fooled, but anyhow, tomorrow will be our historic tour. We will be walking with Nicole. She has a venue that's located in a very easy area to get to. We will be starting late tomorrow, 6.45, I want to mention that. We will be assembling around 6.30. The um, reason why I mention that is because buses start running Barbados at 5 o'clock so you can get this location quite easily if you would like to join us and come meet some of the family uh, meet some of your friends and some of the loved ones Look a man last time he came past here somebody tried to stop this video when he put it up on one of the sites to say it is a promotion I don't promote anywhere in Barbados I just tell you what is good and what I don't like I will not talk about I will put the camera in the other direction Right now at Look a man this is uh, on the west coast again as I said we are in Bats Rock area there is one by the Hilton Hotel now, they've opened their southern branch. But the everyone that's come here, I, I have not heard a bad complaint from anyone that came here. With the exception of people that are cheap, 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 like our billionaire who wants to pay a dollar for a ram punch and pay, pay, pay five dollars for a fish platter because he is so cheap. That is why he has become so rich. It's not because he earned a lot of money, it's because he doesn't spend any. And I can tell you that can be verified by his lovely partner. Can't remember her name right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I am just too truthful. Alright, so from here, um, you also have Wi-Fi facility as well that comes from this MCC guard hut. Uh, they also, I'm not sure if they have webcams down here. I'm sure that our most malicious person on here, Mr. Conductor, will let you know. But this is a beautiful, beautiful location for sure. Alright, we're stopping right here. This is 20 seconds of nothing but stunning beauty. Enjoy this here. By the way, of course I knew it was Stephanie. I was only pulling y'all's legs, testing you all. I knew it was Stephanie for sure. So don't come on here and say Stephanie with that tone. I noticed the tone you just said it with. Made it seem as though I did not know who I was talking about. I of course knew. That's only obvious. Again, surfers, if you're in Barbados at any time, Bats Rock. Predominantly a left break. Um, the rights also can function pretty nice at the smaller sizes. However, you don't want to take a right and get caught with the sets because you get mauled out inside there. The lefts are very steep on the drop, hollow on the drop, and definitely come off in a wedge style coming into the shore break section on the inside here. Uh, many people have known have been known to drown here at Bats Rock in the past, hence the lifeguard hut, and also even when the lifeguard hut was here outside of those hours, people come and see here when there's a big north swell. Where you're seeing those two white pylon um, buoys, which indicates the watercraft come in and out. When here is pumping, that is where it closes out. So you don't really have much of a chance if you're in the sea here of escaping from it. If you get caught in this shore break, you are going to get hammered. Whether you come up smiling, with sand in your teeth, with sand dripping out of your ears, you are going to get hammered. But please be careful. If you all see a big north swell, do not mess around the ocean. Find out what's going on first. Do not go in the sea and say, oh, I'm going to have a little fun here. Because there's no fun when the swells down here start to crank. It can be extremely severe and it can get up like doubly size in a set. Just like that on an incoming swell. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Circle of love time. We can do this in silence. If I am not annoyed by you know who is with me, the most troublesome person in the world and in our group. Boy, we hate. I cannot even tell you what she just did to me. I am not allowed to do that because we're on Facebook and we will get banned. So here we go. And you just have to believe me that whatever she did was absolutely terrible and unaccountable. Here we go.
You see that smile, right? You see how wicked she is? <laughs> Y'all don't know what she mean when she didn't know I had her on camera, but I'm sorry I couldn't show you, but as I said before, we're on Facebook and this is a child-friendly channel, so I can't let you know the terrible things she's been doing to me all morning. Uh, she's just trying to make me talk and interrupt the beautiful serenity and peace that you all are experiencing, so blame her. Blame her actually for everything this morning. If it is good, it is my fault. If it is bad, it is her fault. Beautiful backdrop. We sometimes lose a little bit of signal in this general area here. Then it picks back up again as we get on the cliffs. We are planning to walk that direction there to the furthest point just to show you that it can be done. I have a funny feeling that this lady here that's walking up and down this beach wants to be a movie star because everywhere we go, she comes just in front of us. So good morning to you. If you're viewing this later on on Facebook, I have just exposed you as being a video bomber. Just like um, Jeremy uh, is a video bomber and just like our friend Bertley, who is the photo bomber, the biggest photo bomber I have ever known. If you ever anywhere and you find Bertley, which is one of our, uh, Bertley, who is one of our Munch Kings, uh, you see him, take about 10 pictures of him before you take any other pictures, because if not, every picture that you take trying to get scenery, you will find Bertley in it because he is a terrible photo bomber. And so is his wife Brenda. She's disgusting. She doesn't help anything either. She comes out there with a big smile, pretending she's innocent and peaceful and kind and cheerful, and it's just being photo bombing. She's terrible as well. Great photo bombing couple, let me tell you. Not that we are photo bombers, but just so you can see the beauty of Barbados again, I want to make sure that you're seeing the beauty of Barbados for a minute. Let's do a love circle for you. A minute, circle of love. That doesn't mean we're going to stop talking this time around. We're just having a lot of love here, and we're circling. <laughs> this is our new addition. Where I bring her on to make her look really good. <laughs> Not to make myself look better, because I'm already amazingly beautiful and handsome. Everybody knows that already. Here we go. Who's the biggest photo bomber? Who's that? Who's that? Who said that? I'm going to look for that. I'm going to find who that made that comment. I'll be dealing with that shortly. If it is her, <laughs> she can get pelled in the sea soon. Let me tell you. All right, so on where we shall go again. So I'm not too worried about how long this morning takes. Um, remember, tomorrow, first of all, historic, amazing tour with Nicole. I will be annoying her and everyone else for the entire duration because Nicole will be holding my gimbal. You know what happens when anybody takes my gimbal, they tell lies, they talk non-stop, and they hog all of the camera time. And that is exactly what I'm sure will be happening tomorrow. Don't call her Miss Care on here. Somebody said she's looking forward to Miss Care. Do not name her that, please, on a Saturday. We're gonna get an appropriate name for her because Miss Care does not apply on a Saturday because she does not care for anyone but herself on a Saturday. So just letting you know, we have to call her Miss Self Care, if anything, not anything else but that. So tomorrow, as I said, if you're on the island, send your IM to me. If I see you put up a Facebook post today that shows me you're in Barbados, I'm going to send it to you. Even if you don't send it to me, to let you know where we are so you don't have any excuses. Uh, Kim, you live uh, on the south coast. You should be able to get there tomorrow again. Uh, Dimitri, uh, known as our land shark, he is he's a terrible. I hope he will come out tomorrow. Last week he hid from all the women. He can't handle the pressure, but Dimitri, don't worry, my brother. I with you, man. We could go 20 to 1 quite easily on those odds. That ain't a problem. Beautiful cliff face here. Absolutely lovely. Natural coral of Barbados. Stunning. We're going to get some displays, lad, in a few minutes as we go around and hit this ridge. Hopefully, you're getting a good signal. We normally do in this general area. Uh, we will be going a little bit waterborne here now, so. I'm not sure if the coast star will come because she's fighting for the coal, she says. Coal, you know, coal in Barbados. Who gets coal in Barbados? All the wanna, that's who gets coal in Barbados. All about me. Because you know why? Bajan warrior. Outer shell that is hard and impenetrable. So we talk about tomorrow a little bit. We're going to talk a little bit about Sunday now. Sunday, chill and grill bar. Down in Hastings. That's where we're going to be. If you're on the island, come and join us. Come and meet your family. Come and share a little bit of love and care and kindness with us, please. Um, you know, this family is always on here. If you're on, you see them every day. Come and see who they actually are. You will find out that I am the only good person around. But you need to find out that for yourself. Because if I go and tell you all that I am the only good person around, there are people in here that will doubt it and tell me I'm telling fibs. Um, but as you all will know, that is the truth. As you can see right now, we're going a little deeper in water. So we're going to be going just about knee, well, for her maybe about shoulder height, for me knee height. As you all can see, she's extremely short. I'm a very, very tall, massive, structured man. So for her, she'll probably go right down to her shoulders. For me, I barely can get my knees wet. But anyhow, we'll show you that in a few minutes. If she starts to gurgle and go under, I will run back for her quickly and pull her out. It's not a problem, because I'm also certified and qualified um, Olympian lifeguard. Everybody knows that as well. I used to be a swimming master at one time. 
that's when he was actively participate but no one could ever beat me and therefore I had to give it up because if not the Olympics told me they would have to drop that, that uh, category so I had no pull away from that and then giving others a chance which means that I'm a very fair and kind person as I've been stating through all of the vlogs beautiful 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 so impossible to come under here at high tide virtually impossible these are the entrances that went up to the villas on the cliff before have been sealed off a couple of them are still open um, they used to have a police section up here used to drop a boat into the water you have not seen that for many many years um, as you will see she is struggling here she's just almost at neck height don't mind if you all think you all see her uh, shallower than that she's at neck height uh, it's just an optical illusion so uh, remember remember do not trust your eyes trust your hearing when I am talking so whatever I tell you all is actual fact beautiful we have a friend that does some photography up here that posts every day somebody please remember her name and, and let everybody know because right now I'm thinking about historical facts and figures and I'm not getting names coming to mind so please share the information of the lady that is up here in her villa that takes absolutely beautiful sunsets every day of life looking over this bay I remember her name, but I'm thinking other stuff right now, so let me not break my concentration. Alright, so as you can see this area, easy to walk across, no problem. All the different types of formation of coral, you can see fanish looking coral, this broken off here in the cliffs, absolutely beautiful. All different types of coral, you can see a little piece of brain coral up there as well. It is just absolutely beautiful. Talking about beautiful, I, I can say it quite comfortably, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Lots of trouble though. Don't get confused here. Yeah? <laughs> Beauty comes with enough trouble. Trust me. <laughs> so a lot of these places have their own entrance down to this beach. This beach, again, is pretty much seasonal. If you're getting any time around uh, February, March, January, February, March, April kind of time, or mm, early April when we get north swells. If you get north swells uh, down here, it can be fairly heavily impacted. Summertime, this beach actually gets a little bit bigger. Um, it did grow nicely so far, as you would have noticed when we walked on Bats Rock Beach. The sand has drifted to the south, it will come back over to the north shortly after these currents change and go in the other direction. And you see, obviously, sea conditions are not as tough as they are right now. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Just stunning. Can you imagine waking up on a morning and looking out from here? Oh shoot, Jeanette, you didn't take down my towels this morning. As you all can see, it's our towels up there on the deck. Um, you, didn't, you didn't take down your towels, you forgot? Alright, when you get home, I'll do that, no problem. Alright, so I don't want anybody to know, but we own one of the villas up here. Um, right, actually, one of the condos up here as well. We own like six or seven along the west coast. The billionaire actually gave them to us. He said he had too many of them. He said he didn't want more than 12. So he gave us his other six because he had 18 villas on the west coast. He usually comes down here in his mega yacht. Um, no, he does not fly a Learjet, it is too small. He flies a triple seven, and it's only him and, and his wife Stephanie, who I remember, of course, that are on that along with the cabin crew. Usually, like 40 cabin crew, just to make sure that if he wants his socks changed, they are done. If he wants a sneeze, someone is holding a tissue for him. That's what you do when you have a lot of money, apparently, according to him, anyhow. We're just gonna step back a minute here because we have some surgeon come in. Although low tide is around 8 o'clock this morning. There is a slight surge coming on the west. As you all would have seen, the swell sizes are up at the moment. They are warning, um, warning you about an increased swell size coming. Looks like it's coming into the southeast, but we may get a little bit of a surge in this section. We would have seen a little swell on um, Bats Rock Reef. Sometimes we come down here and don't see any kind of movement whatsoever. So we're going to go on a little bit. I am only talking a lot because I'm trying to um, you know, get rid of the dead time right now. But uh, as you all would know, I don't really talk much. I'm usually a very quiet person. Um, Jeanette can vouch for that. Look, look at her expression. She's she's fighting to get through here. Here we go. Are you swimming yet? I am a quiet person, aren't I? <laughs> that look just now was because she realized there's a piece of coral under her. It was not because of my comment. So don't worry about it. Please do not read anything into that except for what I tell you all. Yeah, so at Q as well, some person came up to me and said, Wait, you running a commentary out here? Well, I don't know if they don't know me. It must be the first time they've ever met me. Of course I'm running a commentary. I like to hear myself. Not only talking, but I like to do replays, 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 replays all day. And listen to my vlogs over and over. 
a lot of people like listen to romantic music i like listening to nicholas's voice because he has an amazing bartone voice so yes of course it soothes soothes me all the time and jeanette is her favorite um, play track she always will come and merge like three or four videos together i play them as her serenity for the night time she usually likes to sit down and listen to me talking um, and if she doesn't have access to a big powerful system like we have at home because we have a mega sound system at home she will say Nick please talk to me don't stop just talk to me until I drop seat and that usually only takes a couple of seconds it's not that my conversation is boring it's just as I have such a soothing and relaxing and peaceful and romantic voice hold that all of you haters <laughs> All right, so as you see, we're successfully walking under here. We have not lost signal. There's a tower just behind us on this cliff. So we get a really good signal here normally. Um, so this morning we are being lucky that we can walk right through here. This is the first time for Jeanette walking this section. Um, she will be doing all of Barbados with me bit by bit, of course, because as you know, co-stars cool usually move with the star. That is a cat lock, S-T-A-R, which would be the Bajan warrior, of course. The morning, 32 people are on board this morning. If any of you again are on the island, please come and walk with us tomorrow. Please come and uh, let Nicole have somebody to talk to, Kadir. If you don't come, nobody's going to listen to her, but you we usually walk with air blogs and also air plugs as well. She doesn't know that yet because we get color coded air plugs, which you can buy at my store. Just give me a call. I, sell, I can send them to you via Amazon if you would like. So anybody wants air plugs, just get in contact with me. I can guarantee you they're certified and they have been tested because when I put in my ears, I cannot hear myself talk. So you will understand how amazing they are. Beautiful coral, natural Barbados. Absolutely beautiful. Lots of erosion down here over the years though. So you've seen that, you've seen the walls cracking and stuff. Lots of erosion. I just love this section here. A lot of people, when we first started our vlogging and we walked across here, a lot of people did not even know that you could actually walk in the inside section here. Remember, this is low tide. High tide would be a completely different story. You can do it if you want, but you're gonna get soaking wet if you have camera equipment or your cell phone with you. Um, make sure it's waterproof or put it in a plastic bag or something. If not, you will most definitely get wet. If there's a north swell, please, low tide or high tide, do not walk in front of these cliffs. You will get slammed into them. That's a serious, uh, serious um, like note there if you take notice of. Um, if you're along any cliff areas and there's a big swell running, please do not do it. You may think you have it timed and you can get caught off guard and trust me, if you get caught with the coral down here, you're going to have some severe cuts that take forever to heal. Uh, I know that for sure from past experience. Beautiful morning. 180. You're not doing a 360. If I do a 360, I'm going to show you all. I will be showing you all our co-star. I do not want to show you our co-star anymore. She's trying to steal the show from me as I see here from some comments from you all. People are encouraging her. There we go. <laughs> That's why you should always pay attention to Nick. When Nick has a camera in his hand, you need to keep your eyes on him and not on his screen. Because you can see she was caught off guard again. I love to do that. But here we go. Check the morning in Barbados. 20 seconds to do so. Here we go. I feel a little bit bad for the co-star cool here because everybody is saying that I am the star and I am the true star. I feel a little bit bad for her. So if you all are making those comments about me, which I know they're obviously about me, um, please remember to say something nice about the co-star cool as well. I don't want her to feel left out. After all, she's gonna be cooking my breakfast this morning. I do not feel like eating eggshell scrambled eggs. Um, I do not feel like eating sugared scrambled eggs. And I most definitely do not feel like eating French toast that has syrup in it. Who eats French toast with syrup in it? The biggest mistake in the world. You have to eat French toast with ketchup and pepper and salt. Everyone knows that except for her. Who always tells me you're supposed to eat it with syrup. You don't eat French toast with syrup. Who's heard of that craziness in their lifetime? Never, ever, ever. And you know, I, I guess there's some people on here that like to taste the sea grapes as well. So I guess they're the ones who probably say, man, you should always eat it with syrup. Like, that's what you're talking about. That's only because they are not educated in the fact of how to eat correctly. So all you all know ignorance, we've carried a vlog from right here uh, with Josh Burt who walked us through this break um, an incredibly shallow 
follow an intense surf comes off here as well north swells again you will see that from Bats Rock there are uh, all of the facilities apart here on the um, roadside have been changed a little bit to make it a little bit more difficult very difficult to park in this area you will see now what you could have driven over before has been made into a severe mound at the top there so even 4x4s would be severely challenged um, looks as though if you want to come and surf here you had to park and walk down through this area here and how long this remains without having a building on it not too sure west coast doesn't stay that way too often sunny morning again as you have seen reef all along here although the beach is absolutely stunning swimming here very very difficult to find pockets here as you see there is a continuous reef that pretty much from just backstraw area where we enter the water until now we started our vlog down here last week it could be the week before it may be the week before that because time merges for me when you're unemployed as in retired and you are um, sort of like what you call retired and laid back and on vacation every day. You don't remember time. I mean, goodness gracious. All I got to do is remember which day is Sunday. I'm going to socialize with everyone at our bar. And that this week, as I said before, will be at the Chill and Grill Bar. And I know Marlon is looking forward to entertaining us. He, he's guaranteed us a day that we will never forget. All right, so we can do our last circle of love from this point. We're then going to end up in this general area here when you see our farewells to get you enjoy that as a photo up while I'm talking. So you will have the, the actual blessings of watching a stunning scenery and listening to one of the world's most soothing, romantic and peaceful voices. That would be me, of course. So let's start from here and let's end here. Here we go. As you all would have seen, she tried to stop me from being silent. She tried to wave her hand in front, meaning that she does not want you all to see anything down here on this coastline. Um, so you all would know who is the person that's causing the problems here right now. Um, for all of those that said that who eats uh, French toast with ketchup and pepper? Well, all the people that eat pizza the correct way with a knife and fork, all of us eat it with pepper and ketchup. Even if our co-star denies that, you all know that I'm telling the truth. What is the moral of today's subject? Today's subject is Nick never tells lies. He only tells the truth. All right, so folks, this is our scenery for the day. Hope you enjoyed this walk. I've had a lot of fun. I talked a little bit more than normal because I, I don't like to really keep any silent times. You know, usually I'm very, very quiet and I've been put down by a lot of people saying that I don't talk enough. Please talk some more. Want to see more of you and everything. So I'm trying to comply. Um, for all of the people that are called haters, well, you all know already that um, you all can come with me on the morning. Anyhow, because I know it's love. I have documents in my fireproof say that tells you how much you love me. So any day that you all out there and blatantly say that you do not love me, I shall reveal them. I shall do snapshots and put them up on every media. That would be Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. I would even go to Chinese media called TikTok and put it on TikTok as well. So even China knows that you are telling lies. Anyway, everyone, have a great day. Peace and love from Barbados. Um, from, obviously, from my co-star. I have to say my beautiful and stunning co-star. And myself, the handsome, most impressive human being in this world. Say bye to you all. Hope you all have had a great day with us. We've had fun. Uh, maybe a little bit long, but who cares? So long as it's good, that's all that matters. And it was good from the beginning to the end right now. I'm gonna have to just give you a last view that may not be as stunning or as impressive, but I want you to see Barbados before we go. Not the most beautiful thing in Barbados. I want you to actually take in Barbados. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all.